one of these days I'll try to get some stuff in order in this room but I've been lazy so what a lot of people know is that I'm a big wrestling fan now the best thing that happened when it comes to Toys R Us closing was that they allowed uh, discounts really really cheap but they had like almost like double discounts on certain things and that's where I found this bad boy the WWE championship title it's not a belt it's a championship uh, but they were actually selling this for like a hundred bucks a hundred and twenty bucks and uh, with the going out of business sale it was like 30% off plus like another like 20% off so I ended up getting this for like maybe like 80 70 bucks and I don't really show it off too much but I don't know how I'm gonna use this like in vlogs maybe I could bring it to Epcot do like a Beverly challenge perhaps with my friends put the title up for grabs well probably not I wouldn't want to lose this thing but maybe you're like kind of a fun fun thing to like kind of present around I don't know if they'll let you bring it in into Disney but yeah it's uh pretty massive actually I think like when I look at it it's not that big but when I have it on camera like against my face or like even when I like put it around my shoulder or something like that it's it's pretty massive except that the the plates here they're plastic so they're not metal like you see on TV and like the diamonds aren't really diamonds they're just kind of like almost clear plastic also you guys saw the big one but I also have a very smaller smaller championship I think I I think I wore this for WrestleMania but I don't remember but you can actually pick up like these little tiny championship belts like from like WWE shop zone um, I think they're really cool because you can wear them on your wrist you could like you know attach them to certain things it's really cool I like this a lot so I'm cleaning up and the one thing that I realized that I didn't have was this cool like horse head mask that I have I didn't realize I had it but I got a horse head mask maybe I use it when I hit like 3k then I can like dance around in it, but I can't see anything. I can see like here and like up here, but that's it. That's all I can see. So you see these tapes? These are mini DV tapes. Now before vlogging was a big thing, I always recorded everything. Um, I recorded a bunch of like wrestling stuff. Uh, this one was Universal Studios. I don't know what's on these tapes. You can't find a adapter for these tapes. So a lot of times you got to go in, you got to format these to DVD. So I think in the probably coming weeks, uh, slowly but surely, I will be trying to convert as many tapes as possible and then dropping them as vlogs. Like I'm really curious about this Universal Studios one. Um, I'd love to see what's on it. I'm pretty sure you guys do too, but I honestly, I couldn't tell you what is on this tape. So for a while I used to just take DVDs, rent them, and then I would rip them. So that way I constantly had an inflow of like free movies. But this is an old HRW wrestling DVD I had. Let me go ahead and try to put it on and let me show you guys what I got. And I think this disc is bad. It's been sitting for quite a while and it's pretty dirty. Uh, I'll have to try to clean it sometime and we'll try again. Now I have a ton of books. I haven't really like ever gone through a lot of my books here. Uh, like I have a psychology book. I have uh, Superman Action Comics. Um, I do have like some Disney uh, books like this one, Cast Member Confidential. Mouse Tales, a behind the scenes look at Disneyland. More Mouse Tales a closer look backstage at Disneyland. I've been really given like a book like this um, almost kind of like another thought because I want to read it again. Now when I did read this book it had a lot of uh, Disney World stuff. It talked about Disney World as a cast member. Now I'm not a cast member at Disney World however uh, now that I kind of really really think about uh, going to Disney World, having friends that work at Disney World, I would really like to take this book and dissect it um, and seeing what is true, what is not true um, as far as like what's written. 
because again, you know, some of it could be legit, but I don't know. So maybe this might be something I could debunk soon. I was planning on trying to see what was on this tape, this very blank tape. Um, but VCRs only work if you have an AV cable, which I do not. Which I'm pretty sure I might have it, but it's somewhere in one of the mini boxes. But once you get the AV cable, then you hook it up to the TV, and then boom, presto change up. Hopefully soon I'll get one. Also, by the way, I've been really, really wanting kind of like a different project uh, as far as like the YouTube video goes to something slightly different. I've been really, really trying to wreck my brain on how I want to do it. Um, mostly just kind of like the end result. And the big part is that I want to talk about this comic right here, the Infinity Gauntlet, which you guys may know as the Infinity War, the Avengers. But I do need to reread this only because there's a lot of things in this book that I kind of want to talk about, especially like Thanos' motivation, where he comes from, what he does, and I'm pretty sure like by this point, you guys already know, but this book, I'd really like to go back and reread it, so that way I can have this kind of a big mental idea. I don't want to be wrong in this video, um, so that'll come soonish. I've been dragging my feet about it, but now that I have this in my hand, I can refresh my memory exactly on what events that occurred in this book. Also remember when I was talking about the VHSCs and the DVs? Look at that. It's a box full of like, um, I think most of these are probably, a lot of my wrestling uh, tapes are on these tapes. And I have a lot of other stuff in here too, but I'm really curious on what is actually on here. There's a lot of good stuff here, but I need to like really dig deep and try to take a look and find like how to rip it apart. But the, moment, the one that I do want to look at is that Universal Studios one. That's the one I kind of want to look at the most. Uh, here's one of the big things too on about how I missed the boat completely. Uh, I have a ton of tapes, a lot of stuff that I know I've recorded. Probably not like this, but I also have like this old like JVC camera. I probably showed it once before, but look how big it is. Now, one thing I could do is find the charger that actually goes into this piece right there. And I know I don't have it. Like for some reason it's like missing, but once you get the charger to that piece, this camera will start right back up and I'll be able to use it. So that's gonna be kind of like my goal then I don't have to like rip like the VHSCs, but for the DV cameras, I would absolutely must do that. So I don't know how I'm gonna get a charger to this JVC, because as you see, it also has like AV inputs right here, so I can use that to pull the video. But the, the DV camera ones, because DV was like kind of like the next like step in like HD, because that technology died out, then so did the cameras. So the cameras and DV cameras are kind of hard to find. But now it's just trying to get more for this. So, do you think Radio Shacks are open? It's probably just looking for something to say. <laughs> what? Is it 1985? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to find like a charger for that, that JVC camera. And then what? You're going to walk around the parks filming with that? Yeah. They're going to kick us out. On a big giant JVC yeah. camera? I had a bigger camera like, that filmed like VHS tapes. Well, you're like those people who bring iPads. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're on this like hunt for like, um, you know, memory lane. I talk a lot about my theater stuff. I'd like to show you guys just a little bit of taste of some theater stuff. Uh, maybe I can go back to, uh, this is from uh, Peter and a Starcatcher that I did. Uh, this is actually the last show I did before moving to uh, Orlando. Now what Peter and a Starcatcher was, was it's an alternate version of Peter Pan. Um, I played Robert Falcon Scott. There's me right there. Now the funny thing is that I actually had this as an intro in one of the earlier uh, vlogs, but I love this show so much.
I've, I'm heading off to work, but I do really want to stop by Walgreens. I really want to see what's on this universal tape, but I do want to know if they allow me to pay now or if they allow me to pay at a later time. Then with the adapter, I can actually use it to uh, connect it to my VHS player uh, that's currently in my closet. And um, then I'll be able to kind of transmit them onto the video here and then upload them onto the vlogs. Let's go see what they say over at Walgreens. They have a bunch of stuff for the photos here, but I don't see anything about videotapes. So that's uh, that's kind of what it is. I get to pay later, so that comes out to like $34.95 when the video is processed, but the tape will be transferred. So probably in the next like maybe two, three weeks, I will have that video um, available on DVD and more than likely edited and probably put on YouTube for all to see. To see, um, you know, old Negro Orlando in Universal Studios, Hollywood, um, which is gonna be kind of interesting to see because I don't know what's actually on that tape. I don't know what I filmed, I don't know what I did, I don't know what I rode, I don't even know if I filmed on the ride itself. Um, this is weird. It's kind of like a time capsule, right? Kind of what I'm doing now. Except now I don't have to pay 35 bucks to go back and watch the video. I can always go back and watch the video. So I just got home and this is kind of like the dent I made. I actually like used this and I kind of moved all my Disney Infinity characters over here inside this little cubby um, because there was like a lot of stuff here. Clear that out. Put my Disney Infinity characters here. I put my sunglasses over here. I did have my championship title up here, but I hung it up on the wall, as you guys can see, and I hung the little one up right next to it. So it's like, Papa, Papa, a baby, Papa, I'm baby. And then you see, like, you know, I got my mask over here, and I got the horse mask and a dino mask, and I just have my games and stuff. It's a work in progress. It's definitely a work in progress. So I think I'm gonna like probably end it there and I think like if I'm gonna do like any like home uh, sort of videos and I have to like end it I'll probably have it so the championship title is like right over my shoulder but hopefully this was a fun and entertaining vlog. Um, not much and I think that's kind of where like a lot of people fear you know like home videos and stuff like that like home vlogs because like people want to ent entertain and they want to you know they want to show you like the entertaining but they also want to show themselves online but it's a weird balance you get what i'm saying so you know we fall back into like disney because disney gets the, the views but i also think like for me um, doing these type of like videos or like forcing myself to doing these videos and pushing myself and doing this it's it makes this more real as far as like connection to you guys go than hey what's going on at the parks you get what I'm saying like so many other people uh, so many other talented vlogs out there that go to the parks um, and I'm always in a state of a back and forth. So, if you like it, cool. Leave a like, leave a comment, smash that subscribe button, baby. You know, ring that bell. All the little fun stuff that people like to do. You know me. I I'm very humble. I'm not. I don't I like to just talk about it all the time. But that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Um, that was a trip through memory lane, and um, hope you guys had fun. And I love this lighting. Championship title. Touch the belt, baby. Touch it. I'm out. <laughs>